Alright, so this is just going to be a really quick video on how to AFK Arch Glacor to get yourself some easy blue and red charms and to get some decent XP depending on uh, which combat style you use. This video will focus on magic and how you can 100% AFK apart from picking up the drops. So you're going to need to have done a few things. Um, you're going to need pretty high magic level, some magic tank armor, as well as completing the city of Sentiston quest. And temple at Sentiston will help a little bit as well. So the main things that you're going to need for this, um, the main thing, should I say, is going to be the animate dead spell, which you get from doing those quests. Uh, it reduces the damage you take, depending on how much magic tank armor you're wearing. Um, and you're also going to really want to have completed Desert Treasure so that you can use the Blood Spells to heal for 5% of the damage that you deal with them. However, you can also use something like Soul Split with the Penance Aura or Vampirism Aura will also get you through, but that's only an hour. Whereas the method that I'm going to be showing you with all these items I'm showing you here, Sea Singers, Rage Fire, Static Gloves, all those kind of things, and the Sentiston uh, Shadow of Pontifex ring is a big one to get a little bit of extra cash. But this is, um, without having to use any aura, this is just set it to fight and off you go. So this is what I take with me. Uh, enough runes to cast Animate Dead, as well as Blood Spell, whichever one it is that I'm using. I take a rune pouch and the Staff of Darkness, because gives me lower chances of actually using runes, which is obviously saving a bit more money. Uh, and I take about five food with me just in case, as an emergency, in case something goes wrong. I forget to put animate dead on and I'm not. I just come back to my PC with 10% health or something like that. And you're going to want some emergency food. I also take uh, the elven ritual shard just for some prayer points in case, again, I need that. And the augmented... Enhanced Excalibur for that free food, just in case, again. Okay, so if you've never been there before, one of the easiest ways to get there is to go through uh, the Zook portal, if you're still here. If you've already completed it, obviously, you'll have a teleport at Wars Retreat already, but if you go through the Zook portal and run back, towards the chain which is just at the bottom of this corridor down here so climb up once you're up here you're going to want to run as south as possible all the way to the southern front which is where the Arch or instance can be made. Also, if you do have that Shadow Pontifex ring, you can just teleport to this temple that we've just walked into. I'll just take you to right there. And again, just run south. Straight out. Down to here. Now that we've gone through the barrier, you'll see at the top there, Arch Glacier Setup has popped up. You're going to want to do this in the easiest possible way. You're going to want to do this with none of these enabled. If you've been here before and one of these is enabled, just obviously untick it. And then make sure you're not doing hard mode as well, because you won't be able to do that AFK. Make sure you set the max players to 1. The spawn speed should be set to fastest, and then begin the instance. I like to surge forward, stand in the middle, and then... Make sure that I'm automatically casting a blood spell and animate dead is on and that's it. 
all I do is open up the loot interface and every time I get a kill stand in the middle and press space bar and it picks up everything so I'll leave this footage playing the full hour just so you can see it works completely you'll see that my HP belly goes down unless animate dead is off
All right, so there we go, just over one hour at AFK at Arch Glacial, and this is the loot that we got in that hour. Just the regular loot, and we'll open the troves afterwards. About 1.7 mil, 1.8 mil, not too bad. The real money with this boss comes from the troves, though. If you've got the Pontifex ring fully upgraded and you're able to get the tier 3 troves which have the possibility of the Pernix Quiver Fragments then they're about 4.5 to 5 mil each. Not to mention 230-ish, 240 of the charms that we were looking for. There we go, we weren't lucky enough to get any of the Quiver Fragments. But we do have about 800k's worth of loot here. So it's not the end of the world. Easy money, easy loot, completely AFK. Not too bad requirements, pretty high, but nothing too crazy. And there you go. That's how you AFK Arch Glacier, 100% AFK. Just picking up your loot, taking no damage, healing back up the damage that you do take. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment, let me know. Like the video, subscribe, and all the other stuff that people bang on about. Cheers.